Hey guys, it's Wizbro100, and, well, uh, it's 2016, so here's the vlog on last year's December. So, let's get on with it. Videos you may have missed. Well, for reviews, you've really just missed nothing, because that hasn't been going well for the past month uh, since the accident. Although, for those that... For those of you who watch my other channel, Common Rider Wiz War, there is quite a bit of uh, the Henshin On video, so if you've been a fan of, or a subscriber of that, you might have seen a couple of them occasionally uh, appearing on Wednesday. Well, that's because I had a backlog of, of them that I didn't, don't know why I didn't use back then, but I've been releasing them every Wednesday at 12 p.m., so yeah, if you're watching that channel, you'll see something going on there. Plan for the next month. Well, the plans for the next month is... I'm in a tough situation right now, especially with being about to kicked out of the house um, at any given time, so... I'm gonna try and find to make better use of my time, like... I don't know. That's what I'm gonna have to work on. Finding better use of my time to... find somewhere else to move to and whatnot before getting kicked out. And on the other note of that, one of the not-so-best ways to make good use of my time is either actually work on a review of some sort to stop myself from being rusty in front of the camera and all the other stuff. Uh, I should probably get back to script writing at least something. And either that or stream a little more, because well, if I had all that free time, I could at least stream, especially during the couple of times I did go Get, get around to playing some video games and... Oh, I should look at my previous stuff to see what I was originally planning to do. Things things get all over the place that I just kind of forget, so... Yeah, gonna have to figure out something for the next month. Games and things I've got. Well, one of the few things I was gifted on... Well, not maybe on Christmas, but... You know, on in the spirit of that is... Um, what was it? Crimson... Crimson Clover... Uh, from Many Ninja, so thanks. It's a uh, shoot 'em up, and I really like shoot 'em up. Although it's kind of bullet hell, it's one of those bullet hell like shoot 'em up. So, hmm. Or uh, not a like I like shoot 'em ups. I like shoot 'em ups, and I like the game. It's pretty cool. Although I also do hate the killer, killer bullet hell games because that's kind of like a different genre of the shoot 'em up. But otherwise, I do like it, and uh, of course, I gifted back. Um, V6, yeah, that was it. Or otherwise known as V, 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 V. V, 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 V. Yeah, I got it right. And another thing I was gifted was the... Robo... The Criterion version of Robocop by D. Tyson and... Damn. I gotta say, man, that's... That DVD's not easy to come by, so I... So I really appreciate it, and he knows, like, I'm a big fan. Because if you've seen my movie vlog with uh, D. Tyson on Robocop... I own a lot of versions of Robocop 1. So yeah, and then the, cr the Criterion version kind of like, like, completes it. I'm pretty sure it completes it. I mean, theatrical version, special extended edition, Steelbook Cage edition, which is the same thing as the special edition, uh, the trilogy, the Blu-ray, and then the Criterion version, which is different, and which is different, I'll just say that. It's supposed to be the best version of Robocop, I haven't watched it yet, uh, but when I find time, I will. So, uh, thanks, guys, for the, the for the gifts. And before I forget, uh, Spax or Ed did send this to me—a Christmas card, which I honestly was not expecting. But uh, thanks for the goodwill, man. Appreciate it. Things I've done. Well, um, during this month, the things I've done that I think would be. Most noteworthy is beating Metroid 2 on the Game Boy on my 3DS. And since there's not a lot I have for things I've done, um, I'll go a little bit more deeply about what I thought about the games. Uh, there, there's two games I that I've beaten recently. So, but first, Metroid 2. <sighs> like I've been, uh, if you played Super Metroid, you're most likely a fan of Super Metroid, and you probably can't really can't really play anything that isn't on its level or, you know, meta like Metroid Zero and to a degree Metroid Fusion, but Super Metroid is great. If you've played it, you most likely enjoyed it, especially if you're a sci-fi fan. And so going back to the previous games like Metroid and Metroid 2, 
in this case Metro 2. I I was really turned off by the game at first, especially if you see my post about it, but uh, at first I I just didn't like it because it was just it was such a step back, but after a while I sort of grew to like it, but then I started hating it again. Main reason? No map. Like seriously, it's just like Super Metroid it just completely changed Metroid and it made it just so much more playable and so much more user-friendly, I'd user-friendly, I'd say, because you got the map, so you can't really get lost, and other than that, the graphics are, actually, the graphics are different enough that you can differentiate where you are, so you won't get lost, so even without the map, you wouldn't get lost in Super Metroid. But in Metroid 2, everything almost looks, or not everything almost looks the same, but most of the places look the same, so sometimes I'll be running around in circles, and I'll just be like, I don't know what I'm, like, I'm like, I'm lost, I don't know what to do, if I, if I drew a map, then um, I would discover that, oh, I didn't go here, or or whatever, and just a map, man, map, because the graphics just, they all look mostly the same, and it's easy to get lost and confused, like, around, like, the third, like, third way through the game, I had to look up a map, because I, I was telling myself, like, I'm not going to use a map, I'm going to try to actually play this properly, couldn't do it, because I was just like, where the fuck do I go? Looked at the map, and it was like, oh, this part that I just didn't think to look. And there were some other... There's also some other things that was just, like, not obvious. Like, when the game shakes after you defeat a Metroid, or you hunted one down, the screen shakes. That's to let you know the lava went down. The, the lava level went down, so you can access new areas. I didn't know that! I didn't know that, because the game doesn't tell you, and since it's on the 3DS... Uh, there probably may have been instructions in it, but I, I highly doubt, or I don't doubt it, but uh, I didn't I didn't really look at it. This was back in the day when you kind of like had to look like the instruction manuals are quite uh, helpful and, and sometimes necessary to be to understand the to understand how the game works in order to beat it. So so yeah, uh, Metroid Two, and then that and then that final boss fight with the Queen Metroid. Man, that, that was annoying, but thankfully, I remembered how you were supposed to fight that thing. So I wasn't too... No, it was pretty bad. It was pretty bad. Most likely almost died. But, other than that, it did introduce... Like, Metroid 2, it did have some ideas. If Nintendo needs to remake this. I mean, they've been re-releasing, like, a couple of games. Well, depending on how you look at it. I mean, for instance, the Zelda series, they just keep re-releasing re the same type of game from Ocarina of Time, and... Mario and stuff. Like, Metroid! Why don't you just remake Metroid 2 and just make it better? Heck, is there even a... Is there, like, a hack of Super Metroid where it's just modeled after Metroid 2? Because I'd play it, because if Metroid 2 just was remade like Super Metroid, I think it'd be great. But until, like, you know, Nintendo gets that idea, good luck with it. Anyway, so the other game that I, uh that I beat recently is Portal. And yes, I know I'm awfully, extremely late to the party, but that's because I never really give a, gave a shit about Portal, okay? Because pretty much everyone did the talking for everyone else. In that case, everyone else also did the talking for that. But, um, yeah, so I finally decided, I don't know why I wanted to, like, sit down and just, like, play through it for once. Like, I did play with it a little bit before, and it was like, oh, this is kind of cool. But, like, recently I just, like, sat down and played through the entire game. And, oh, you know what? I liked it. Yeah, I like the puzzle, the gameplay, and... <sighs> Everyone talks about the story, but unfortunately for me, I was also watching or listening to something at the same time, so I kind of missed out on it. But I was I was talking with my with my good buddy, uh, George the Hitman, uh, about it, and it was like... Like, the gameplay wouldn't be as compelling without the story, and... Also, the story wouldn't be as compelling without the gameplay, so it, it was it was a nice combination. And uh, well, I like I liked the game. It was it was fun. It was short, and it was good. So I can see why definitely a lot of people liked it. But yeah, and it only took me less than uh, two hours to beat it, so it's just the right length. It didn't feel like it overstayed its welcome. So definitely go play Portal if you haven't played it, like me. So, yeah, that's what happened. 
So that's it for this uh, vlog of December of the last month of the year, 2015. See you all in 2016 if I ever get back on my feet and get back to doing what you guys came subscribed to me to watch for. So apologies for not getting anything out, but tough times, tough situations. Oh yeah, stay tuned for more from Wizard 100. Oh, and before I forget, Herpy New Year's to all of you, and welcome to 2016.